Now I'd like to show you how you can acquire a webcam image with NI Vision Assistant and then also measure a distance within that image. All right, I've just started NI Vision Assistant. I'm going to select the option for acquiring images. Look down here, this is where the USB webcams are located. You can also access the webcam or webcams connected to your NI MyRio by choosing Select Network Target and entering 172.22.11.2 as the Ethernet address for your MyRio. This requires your MyRio to be connected via its USB cable to your desktop. There's two available. I'm going to pick my external webcam, the LifeCam Studio. The video mode lets you choose any desired resolution and associated frame rate. And th this particular list that you see here will vary from one webcam to the next. I'm going to acquire images continuously, or you could do it with a single image at a time. Let's do continuous though. You'll note that this is a color image that's being collected. And let's zoom in a bit. You can start to see individual pixels. You can zoom one to one. So now it's exactly one pixel per pixel on your display screen. Or we can just show the entire image all at once. And in this particular resolution, I have 1920 pixels horizontally, 1080 pixels vertically. I have a ruler laid on a piece of one centimeter grid paper. And I'd like to show you how you can adjust your camera attributes. In particular, I'm going to adjust the focus. Some webcams have a mechanical focus like this. Others do not. It just depends on your specific model again. Might try adjusting brightness too. See if I can lighten this image up just a bit. Let's try going in the other direction. All right, that looks pretty good. We can see the ruler quite clearly now. Let me go ahead and acquire that image to the image browser. I'm going to move the paper a bit, get a different vantage point. And then I'm going to click the button again, and we see up here that we now have two images in the image browser and you can select between those two images a couple different ways with slider or the buttons let's get a third orientation in there collect that image and now we have three all right i'm going to close out here and proceed to process images let's pick the first one where the ruler is horizontal and then make that the active image. I'm going to then select measure. This is the measure step as it's called. If, if you were developing a complete script, zoom in here a little bit and I'm going to select length, click down for the starting point and then drag a line to the ending point. And we look down here in the chart and we see the length is measured as 155 pixels.